the great Glen Way, one of Scotland's great trails. It winds its way through the very heart and soul of this remarkable country. Running the entire length of Scotland's longest glen, this 79 mile path stretches from the bustling town of Fort William to the capital of the Highlands in Inverness. It's filled with stunning lock views, dense forest paths, heart pumping ascents, and cozy accommodations. The quietude of this particular trek, mixed with the untamed beauty of the Highlands, is a nature lover's dream. We're going to share with you the realistic day-to-day -day life of being a long-distance walker, some classic Scottish eats, and the journey that unfolds when you leave behind the day-to-day -day life for one on the trail. While we can't say everyone will have the same experience as us, we do know that there is something special about this trail and the solitude that we found along the way. We're Brian and Crystal, and this is Von Hala Adventures. We just finished up our trek on the West Highland Way, and while we're really looking forward to being on the Great Glen Way, we're a bit beat up from our last day on the trail. Oh my gosh, my knee. Oh. We're not hiking today. Brian and I are supposed to be starting in the Great Glen Way. So that's where we're beginning. Beat up and tired. Oh. OK. Let's get this party started. We heard the first day of this trek is just a walk along the canal. So we decided to make the somewhat difficult decision to skip the usual first day and give ourselves some time to just rest and prepare and run a few errands before we get to our next accommodation and begin. Good morning, everybody. Today officially marks our first day on the Great Glen Way. We really enjoyed our stay at this particular B&B. The food was great, the room was nice and big, and the owners even gave us a ride to the trail in the morning, which definitely saved us a few miles. We got it, thanks so much. Okay, we're off. <laughs> Okay, right off the bat, I am loving this trail terrain. Mostly, yeah. Mostly dirt, some pebbles, no big rocks and all that stuff. It's soft on your feet. I can walk on this all day, but I don't want to speak too soon because we just started. We got 12 miles to go. So, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. This, let's see how this pans out. <laughs> right now, it's reminding me of like Oregon, Washington right now, Pacific Northwest, right here. Yeah. With all these ferns and the trees and just... yeah, the evergreens. Wow. Oh, we're already coming back down. This is cool. Oh. oh okay. Oh, that was. <laughs> oh <laughs> really? man, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I knew I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay. Interesting do trail. Now? I don't know. <laughs> this is good. This is, this is gonna be a long day. What's <laughs> <laughs> going on? Oh, it says go right. Uh, here on the left, it says. On the left, oh, yeah, it says like go that. right. On the left, it's right. The blue post. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Seem to hit a fork in the trail here. Nothing's labeled. No idea which way to go. We're gonna we're gonna result to our trusty little navigator here. Crystal Garden. This way. I'm pretty confident right now. Okay. This guy's a sunny and warm, but nothing about giant cold wind.
back on the road, folks. We just learned that the majority of this trail today is on this road. As far as I know, we'll be walking on this road for, I don't know, maybe two, three hours. Yeah? It yeah, looks def, like most of the time. Definitely two hours. And so. there's no other route, so. No, this is it. Okay. So it's a road. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's not it's... a crowded road by any means. No. It's gorgeous out, so. One thing I love about walking on these trails in the highlands is that you get to see all these little nooks of like small neighborhoods that are kind of pretty much private, really. They're off the beaten path, but they're such amazing houses and locations. I just want to live right there in that stone house. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Scotland is magical. It's It's got something about it. There's just something about Scotland that... I know there's many more countries that also have this wow factor, but Brian and I are very drawn to Scotland right now. Just in general. I think it's our ancestry. It's this house. Wow. Look at that fireplace slash entry. Okay. They just keep coming. Look at this one. What? I can honestly say I am thoroughly enjoying this hike today. I love the terrain. It's mainly flat and along the water the whole way, sunny, nice breeze, cool you down. Yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this. We're moving along. We're averaging at about 2.3 miles per hour. And uh, I feel like we're gonna finish this trail a little earlier than, uh, than we think. been windy because of the windy has been chill chilly today so glad i had a fleece but now all of a sudden it's hot 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 you taking yours off too yeah the wind's kind of stopped and the sun is blaring shining hard ready for anything anything on this trail Oh, that feels so much better. Yeah. Ooh. What's the diagnosis? Oh, my sh uh, this heel is just hurting really bad. Your heel? Yeah. Yeah, it's this. This is where my 
I always hurt right here, like on both sides. It always hurts really bad, no matter what I do, no matter what kind of orthotics. So it always hurts after usually like, yeah, after one day on the trail and it's been long miles, that's when I hurt. Mm. It just doesn't go away. It's This is happens even at home, no matter what I do. Mm. Oh man, ow, oh. Ooh, found it. Oh my. Oh, that hurts so good. Oh. It is my Achilles heel. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Oof. You can finish? I mean, I'm going to. I'm not giving up. You don't really have a choice. <laughs> There's no alternative. Oh, man. Except swim. We already ate, but there's a spot and it's marked by a bear that there looks like it's kind of a little campground. It goes all the way down to the lock. Nice little area for a rest if you wanted to. You even have a little bathroom down there. Yeah, it looks like a bathroom. There's the bear, you can't miss it. And then it looks like, I don't know if you can see it, down there there's some benches and two next to the water. We're making good time, so we do have dinner reservations tonight. But since we're making good time, we're gonna go put our feet in the water. This looks cool. Wow, that's all clover. All this green is clover. That's so cool. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Some of these kind of have this elevated dirt thing. And you're just surrounded by clover and it's on dirt. It's all soft too and level. This is amazing. And you know what? We hardly seen anybody. We've seen some bikers on this path, but all the walkers we've seen are going the opposite way. So they're doing Inverness to Fort William. And we haven't seen, we've only seen a handful of people Brian and I are loving this trail so far. B, look! And there's a little hut down here. Ah. Oh my gosh! A nice little park here. Wow! This looks brand new. This looks amazing. This is so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Wait, look at all this. Look at all this. What? Whoa. We're at mile eight from Gerlaki. Wow, I want to put my feet in. You've just been relaxing over here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. That was good. That was one of the best moments I've ever had. This place is awesome. I know. I kind of wish we were staying here. Right? You ready to go though? Okay. We just got four miles. Really short little four mile. It's like a giant baseball cap. Yeah, I just checked it in in the back, you guys. That works. There we go. Okay, I'm ready to roll. I might have to poop on one of these things sooner or later.
I feel like we've both kind of been on our own world today. Yeah. What have you been like thinking about? I've just been zoning out, thinking about living in the UK. It's kind of like, <laughs> pretty much all I've been thinking about. <laughs> like, oh, I love nice that. To be there. How, can I, how can I do? How can we stay here? Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. I've been thinking about because um, my feet have been hurting today. And there was this lesson, one of my teachers, um, I remember taught me, is that to always give back to the land when you take something or when you have an experience. And I mean, we're always taking from the land, but to give back. And I, one of the ways I was taught was like part of yourself. And so I was just thinking that that can come in a lot of different forms. But today I was thinking part of the experience because in a way we're taking from the land on these trucks that we do. And I was thinking part of my pain is giving back to the land like I'm consistently taking. But part of the journey is the pain and to do it anyways and to I don't know, it's a deep appreciation because it takes so much. So I have to give my full self over to it. And so I think my pain is a way of giving back in an odd way, like blood, sweat, tears, all of it. It's a way to give back. That's what I was thinking about today. And it actually made the pain subside a little bit because it was getting pretty bad. How are you doing now? Are you good? Um, it's actually better now that I, I reframed it and kind of yeah. shifted how I was thinking about it. Yeah, that's good. And then, um, I mean, it's still there. It's, it's still that, like, almost <laughs> lightning bolts coming up from my heels. But, um, I don't know, that there's that same saying I always remember, though. Pain is inevitable, suffering is a choice. Yeah. So, also remember that, too. I gave a little back, a little bit back of to the land about a mile ago. <laughs> okay, that's a different kind of giving back. Ah, oh, dang, okay. <laughs> we're almost at the end right now, and we're passing by a massive sheep farm. It's huge! Oh, there's little buds in the road. Buddies. No, look at that little baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, it's so tiny. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, Mama. Okay. I think when I bent over earlier to use the restroom, I lost my glasses. That long ago? I don't know. When did I have them? Lost my sunglasses. Oh, bummer. Oh, those were from Hawaii. Oh. Mm. Well, I have to find some new ones, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're almost done. Brian and I decided not to go to our hostel first. We have dinner reservations here on the barge um, in Lagan Logan. Um, we just got here, but we're an hour early, but there looks like there's a place to get a drink or something. kiosk had some stuff so if you're like us we don't want to walk the last mile to great Glen hostel then walk a mile back and then walk another mile back no. three more miles absolutely not no way i'm sober early we have to wait an hour for this place to open but this little outdoor area nice we just wanted to sit in the shade i don't want to get burned Oh man, my feet though. Weep. I'm loving it. It's relaxing, decompressing. You did good. Yeah, you did good too. Yeah, go yeah, team. You're right. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. <laughs>
This is it. That's where we're eating. Guys, check it out. Oh, of course you need a parrot for sure. But oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at you. Already having a good time. Oh my god. And there's a a fireplace? This is so cool. Do, or do you mind being on camera? Okay. <laughs> so this is cool. It's a woman by Teddy. Her name is Victoria and she is actually the owner. How long have you had this if you don't mind uh, me asking? My partner and I have had it for 10 years. For 10 oh, years. Wow. Ten years. Wow, did you fix it all up yourself? It was his parents before us and they did it all up like this and we just kind of dropped in and took over. This is very cool, I love it. Thank you. We're just gonna eat each other's food. Fair enough. We'll Thank you. Enjoy guys. Thank you. Oh, wow. There you go. Yeah. I wanted lots of veggies. Ooh, you that's go. hot. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> A great dinner. That was such a cool experience. It was a cool experience. It was very I cool. really enjoyed it. And uh, Victoria, her name? The owner, the yeah. Owner Victoria, man, she's a hustler, man. She was running all over the place. She flew up and down those she stairs. She literally so fast. didn't even touch the stairs. She was going up and down them so fast. The like, service was far, like, it made anything in the US, any service in the United States, look like they didn't even care. <laughs> Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought. It's not bad at all. No, we have to walk along this highway. It's 60 miles per hour, but just I mean, off. we'll just not be on the highway. I don't want to get on the grass there. Yes. We have luggage to retrieve. Oh yeah, and our luggage, or we got luggage oh, transport. Oh yeah, it should be in your room. Oh, oh wow. wow, that's nice. Yeah. That's a first. That is a first. That's pretty nice. That's really nice. Oh my gosh, B. What? Okay, so it's what, 7 p.m. or something? I think. Yeah. Probably have makeup all over me. Don't mind you guys. But that was the cleanest. That bathroom is spotless. Like they just had cleaned it again. Really? This place is excellent. I thought 
that girl, uh, that young woman, yeah. working. This place is already awesome, and all we've seen is our room and the reception. Yeah, Super no. streamlined here. Yeah. The bathroom was, I mean, exceptional. Yeah, wow. Like, brand new garbage, everything. Because usually at this time, people are, like, at the King's House, for instance, on West Highland Way, which is uber expensive. People were like, ooh, the bathrooms were grimy at best. This place, 55 pounds for two people. No breakfast or meals are included or anything, but still 55 pounds for two people. And just great. Like, I like it here. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I smell. We gotta wait in line for a shower. Go check it. No. Dang it. Should have went in there earlier. But I was looking for someone's phone for 10 minutes. I can't help it. Are you stinky? Yeah. Oh, you're not that bad. You're not that bad in yourself. Thanks. How are you enjoying this just so far? Like the day one versus... It's a whole different experience. It's a whole different scenery. A whole different vibe, eh? A whole different vibe. It's like, there's like nobody on the trail. Yeah, nobody. There was no other walkers except a couple people going the opposite way. A lot of bikers, a lot of bikers. There was a lot of bikers also going the opposite way. Yeah. But that's uh, it. Yeah, it just seems more kind of down to earth. Uh, yeah, way more, more down to earth. Yeah, down to earth, simple. Yeah, it's cool. I'm really loving the Great Glen White. Yeah, it feels just yeah, raw, a little bit more about, raw. We were thinking about not doing it. <laughs> we almost didn't do it, you guys. We almost canceled the last minute because we just were like, let's just go up to the aisles. I was like, no. We're walking this great glen way. Stay in the course. Stay in the course. And we did. And I'm so happy because this actually feels very refreshing yeah. compared to how crowded it was on the West Highland Way. We're probably going to do a whole video, actually. Tell me if this would help, be helpful for you. Comparing the West Highland Way to the Great Glen Way. I feel like that could be actually a really great video. No, I'm saying it out loud. E, any last thoughts you want to say goodnight, you stinky little butt? It must be nice to go to bed right now because someone would have to stay up for another three hours and edit. You do not have to stay up if you don't want to. I have to. You have to. Okay, I just want you to all know, B is the only reason our videos probably come out. I am. I have the idea for videos and I love filming, but I won't edit. <laughs> I'll edit a little bit, a little bit, but I just can't. I cannot. I have ADHD. I cannot, unless I'm fully in one or the other mode, I can't. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was helpful, entertaining, or some sort of worthy of your time. I love you all so much. Brian laughs because I don't know you all, but I do. I love you all. Anyways, keep it real. We'll see you for day two on the Great Glen Way. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye.